Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dread Time Stories. I'm your host, Dr. Phobia, and tonight, dear patients, our story comes from the world of creepy pastas. And also, before we kick this one off, this one was a recommendation from Jack Ford. So, Jack, this one's for you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's tale How Tommy Really Died. These days when people ask me if I have any siblings, I just say no. But I used to, just for a while. Tommy was my little brother, and by the time he was three, we were best buddies. I remember how we used to wake up at 5 a.m. on Saturdays to watch cartoons and kick up a hell of a ruckus until mom and dad booted us out of the house. Then we'd go play on our swing set or maybe try to skip stones at the creek, or even just run around. But then he got sick that next fall. It wasn't anything too bad, just a common cold, or so we thought. My parents really didn't do anything about it. They just figured they'd let it run its course. Poor kid probably went through a pack and a half of Kleenex a day, but that didn't help any. He was sneezing every other minute, spewing his snot all over the place. And I wouldn't have spent much time around him if my parents didn't make me. That's how we ended up in the garage that day. We went out to run around, but because it was cold, Tommy got tired after just a few minutes. We were headed back inside when he sneezed on me. I called it the straw that broke the camel's back. All of a sudden, he started yelling about his cold and how gross it was to sneeze on everything and everyone. He sneezed on me again, and that's when he really lost it. My dad had a pegboard of tools on the wall. Tommy reached up and grabbed a hammer. He hit himself in the face with it a good four or five times. Smack, 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 until he was down. Then he hit himself again and again. Smack, smack, crunch. I think I was in shock until then. I literally couldn't believe what just happened. I went to help Tommy, but I stopped when I got closer to him. I tried to write about what his face looked like a few times. Couldn't do it. All I can say is that his nose was smashed along with his teeth in the front of his face. His skull was basically opened up, but there was something moving there. Something moved past part of his skull, and for a while, I thought it was a huge living booger, and in a way it was. It was a slug. The first few, the doctor said, were living in his nasal cavity. All the slime they were producing that is what made him sneeze so much. Because of the way it happened, I think my parents told everyone that Tommy died in an accident. I'm not really sure, and they're not really around for me to ask them what they said. My friends from school didn't buy that, so when they asked me how Tommy really died, I told them the same thing I told the cops, which is the crap I just wrote. But that's not how Tommy really died. See, Tommy couldn't have reached Dad's hammer, but I could. That was how Tommy really died. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for listening. Like I always say in closing, check under your bed, look in your closet, and sleep with the light on. The life you save may very well be your own. Good night, everyone.